Okay, so it's showtime. Eight tips to nail that interview. Number one. Dress to impress. Dressing smartly and being on time, we're all gonna give you confidence and the opportunity to relax into the environment. They know you are prepared as a candidate, so turn up. Good firm handshake, good eye contact, and be cheerful, smile. All these factors are gonna help create a positive first impression. How many chances do you get to make a first impression? Just one, it's all the finger counts there. Number two. Positivity, positive mental attitude as they call it. You've done your groundwork, you've got to the interview, you've probably beaten 10 other people to actually get there. Smile, you've got this. You can now showcase who you are. And they're interested in you, so don't waffle. Number three. Yes. Don't be an ass. It's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is an attractive quality. Arrogance never is. Please don't. Just be positive, but keep a balance. What's this? Oh. oh yeah, number four. Well, ever your reason for leaving a current role, do try to be loyal to your current employer. Have positive reasons for leaving. You can explain them, they, it could be there's a lack of progression where you are, but being 100% negative is only gonna mark you down as perhaps a negative individual, and that's not what you want. Try to focus on why you wanna join the new company rather than leaving the old one. Number five, say hello to my five little friends. Answer the question. When you're asked a question, answer it. Clearly, succinctly. If you don't know the answer, don't fluff it. Explain it's not an area you've covered. Maybe try to relate it to other areas you can talk about. You could also explain that it's maybe one of the reasons you want to join a new company to develop that very knowledge. They don't want to trick you. They want you to get a position with them. They're trying to understand the bubble if you like, of your knowledge, the scope of it, where you can contribute today, where they need to train you so you can move on in the future. And as I say, they want you to get the job, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting there. They think you can do it, and it's now about how far you can take it. Number six. Know your CV or resume. Rehearse at least three times before you get to that interview. It's gonna give you more confidence. It's gonna make a positive impression and knowing all about it is really gonna help you with the interview situation. Number seven. Seven, uh, seven. Why are you there? Why do you want this job? Well, it seems an obvious question, but it gets asked all the time. Possibly explain the reasons you were initially attracted to the position itself Stress where your current skills and qualities are a match for the role, as we talked about earlier. Explain where you see the role developing and how you're going to develop it too. This is another opportunity for you, a chance for you to shine. One thing to remember is do avoid aspects, as I said earlier, about money or shorter hours. These might be attractive factors to you, but someone who simply wants to move for more money, less work, it's hardly going to endear you to a new employer. Emphasize the positive, things like career development, personal growth. Yes, you can mention improvements in paying conditions, but think about what your prospective new boss is going to think of you. Number eight. What questions do you have? When they ask what questions do you have for me or there, even if you've answered all of, the, or all of your questions have been answered, always have a couple up your sleeve, just tucked away. It demonstrates your interest in them 
and the position and the company and the, you might be measured your positivity will be measured by this this question it may also help you as well decide if it's the right role for you it could be a question about the earlier research you've done on the company it could be a good chance to impress them about who you are you can also flip the question around saying you feel like the role suits you do they think the same or are there any concerns or questions they have it shows a you know an awareness of yourself and will give you a chance to leave a a positive impression uh, on them and deal with perhaps any lingering doubts that they may have had that you didn't quite deal with throughout the rest of the interview then it's time to leave the interview and everything's done actually it's not there's still some further things you need to follow up with in order to maximize your chances of success before you go remember if you want to see the other videos then join our treasury recruitment club you get access to the media center you get cv templates you get christmas chocolates okay skip that bit no cut that bit out no, no christmas chocolate no christmas chocolate i don't mind anyway move on um cv templates market updates sign up get the latest jobs everyone wins fantastic sign up below somewhere thank you